see this, see this microphone? You see what it's doing to me? Today, we're going to talk about my Cricut Toes and we're going to compare Ngenji Toe Socks to the cheaper V-Well Toe Socks. So I've got some really crooked toes, especially on my left foot. Uh, it just started like, it seems like it just started like a year ago. Um, I know it's gotten worse since um, the summer. And I've been working with a podiatrist uh, over this. And she told me that it's just where I've been doing so much vertical, so much running. Um, I don't know if that's totally the case, but she said the tendons underneath the toes are overpowering the tendons on the top and it's what's causing the the toe to draw over. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if I can get a close up with the GoPro here. So this toe here is turning into this one and just up under it just a little bit. So you can see when I put my foot down or my toes down, it actually kind of turns up under. And that's actually really causing me some trouble because on the bottom of the toe, it's creating a callus, like a, a ridge callus. And Sometimes if I get beyond 20, 25 miles, that callus starts developing a blister underneath it. So uh, you can imagine in an ultra, this is no bueno. Anyway, the, um, the podiatrist told me to start using these toe spacers, like during the day, she said I didn't have to run in them, but to use these toe spacers. And I just got these today, so I haven't even really tried these out, so I, I can't comment on these whether they work or not but something else I've been doing is wearing Ngenji toe socks and so if you've got toes that are kind of rubbing on each other or turning you know turning into the other toe while these won't correct the problem they definitely mitigate the problem um, the Ngenji toe socks I really like these these are called the I think they're called the trail um, toe sock or something like that um, they come up, you know, close to the bottom of your calf or so. And the material of these is, is pretty thick, and I like that. It really helps keep those toes separated. Um, and then I also ordered some uh, V-Well toe socks because I just wanted to see what kind of qualities were because these, these V-Wells are around $18 on Amazon for three pairs, whereas the Ngenjis are roughly $17. I think I paid $17 for these. Uh, on Amazon also. So um, I, I can't recommend these because for one, I haven't worn them, but two, the material is just, they seem really generic. Um, I mean, these are just like uh, you know, dollars, they feel like dollar store socks. I don't know, just dollar store sell socks. So I can't really recommend those. Uh, if you're thinking about toe socks, I would recommend go with the Ngenjis. These, these just, they feel quality. Um, now I ordered two different sizes of Ngenjis and I ordered, so I'm, let me tell you this, I'm a size 11 in Ultra and in the Hoka, um, actually all Ultras I wear a size 11 and that leaves about a thumb's width at the end of the shoe between my, between my big toe and the end of the shoe. Um, and in Hoka Challenger ATR trail shoes, I'm 11 in all those also. So I ordered um, the um, the large in these and they fit great and then I also ordered mediums because I read an article somewhere where a guy said that he had hiked the whole PCT and he recommended that if you fall right on that like um, borderline between medium and large which that's where I'm at he said go with the smaller and I did that uh, and I regret it what happens is is the right between your toes where that webbing is, these will pull down into that area because the heel is too close to the toes. So when you put these on, it stretches it back and you'll constantly get that pulling in between your toes. A word of advice is get your Ngenji socks from Amazon or REI or somewhere where you can easily return them because Ngenji store does not allow you to return worn socks. So if you take these out of the package and you wash them and wear them, 
um, you're probably going to have some difficulty sending them back. So uh, get them more, you know, I'd recommend getting from Amazon or somewhere like that, um, or REI. I don't know where, who else carries them, but anyway, like 15, between 15 and 18 bucks a pair. It's pretty steep price, but it's really been helping that problem that I have with that crooked toe uh, turning into that other one. It's really uh, mitigating that that friction and and you know getting up under that other one. Something else I've been doing is I've been using these um, the KT tape, these small ones, and I'm just you know wrapping the toe like that, and um, that's helping too. So that you can do this within in conjunction with your Injinji socks. You know, wrap that toe, and then use these Injinji socks. So I've seen articles and in YouTube videos where uh, these podiatrists saying there's nothing you can do about it, it's just life, and you know, I'm kind of like, well, it gradually got this way, I could probably gradually get it to go away. And that's, my podiatrist told me that, she said it'd probably take about a year to correct it. She said by combination of wearing these, taping the toe straight, and stretching it. So um, let me see if I can show you what, what the stretch is gonna be. And turn this GoPro on so I can kind of, so, um, if you squat down, let me see here if I can get this on the GoPro. Here we go. If you squat down and then you put your knees, I'm not doing a very good job of this. Let me set that GoPro out a little ways. Um, if you squat down and put your knees to the floor. So like for me, I noticed that my right leg or my right foot, I can bend the toes and put the knee to the floor very easily. There's no discomfort at all. But in my left foot, I feel discomfort all through my toes. So that's kind of, that's an indication that, that those tendons on the bottom going along, out to the toes are really tight and overpowering and pulling those toes crooked. So I would recommend that you talk to your podiatrist and uh, see what they've got to say about all this. Cause I've heard conflicting stories, you know, on YouTube and people claiming to be a podiatrist and, um, you know, it's always best to just go see him yourself. Uh, I don't um, know if, you know, any of these toe spacers and stuff is going to work. Uh, but I do know that the NGNG socks have been helping me and the, um, the KT tape. So, well, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.